Black History Month is when many try to incorporate African prints and designs into their attire. Locally, these types of clothing can be sourced from empire wear designs. Today, we have the pleasure of welcoming the founder of this brand, Ms. Chadine Connor, to Good Morning SKN's Expressions. So welcome, Chadine. Hi. <laughs> Good to have Thanks you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so at what age did you discover that you were interested in fashion? Oh, from very young. Um, my mom is actually the local designer, Faith Benjamin. So I've grown up watching her make designs and, you know, being creative. So I wanted to do that. So it's from a very young age. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know, but the name Faith Benjamin, you know, rings a bell for many locals, I'm sure, because she's been doing this for a lot of years. Yes, a lot of years. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what about this industry appeals to you most? I like being able to create. I like to see two different things and different patterns and putting it together to express myself. So I think that's the top thing for me. Um, so give us an insight as the launch of the launch of your business, Empire Weird Designs. What inspired you to like branch out? I know your mom sews and you oh, work actually with a it's a family. Yeah. Ah. It's me and my mom. We work together hand in hand. So mm -hmm. she started it and we just basically built on the foundation. Oh, that's great. I love family business. That's awesome. And we talked about the African themed wear. Yes. And I asked you when you sat if you were the one who, you know, made that lovely i came for the theme <laughs> <laughs> i like that Chetty. i like that so did you expect such a wide um receipt from saying kids i know everybody talks about you i mean mm -hmm. you've made pieces for me as well so you're very very popular did you expect that when you first started designing oh yes that was actually the goal i wanted to be like well known and the biggest for my pieces i want you to look at someone and say okay that came from Empire, yeah. Ah, so you've been successful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and do we have any clips of you wearing anything from Empire Wear, Mimi? I don't think they do. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Wow, cute. why would you pick that picture? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Chadine, mm -hmm. I mean, I think I went to it just with a few days notice. I'm like, okay, this is what I want. And it was perfectly yeah, it done. Really yes, it was really, really, awesome. really nice. Um, so what are your most requested, requested pieces? What do people come to you and ask for the most? People come, okay, mo the most occasion we have is birthdays. Yes. <laughs> so people come for fancy, like glitter and formal attire. So that is our biggest thing, formal attire. I know birthdays are a big thing, and I know, mm -hmm. I mean, we had turkey killer in here in glitter, <laughs> so we know that glitter yes. is very... When it's your birthday, you think about sparkle and, you know, high fashion, that's what we think about. I, yeah. I want to get in here. You got to tell me, what kind of customer was Mimi? Was she like, you know, the, the, the customer Zilla, or was she like the No, she perfect was actually customer? perfect. Wow. Ah. She knew what she wanted, <laughs> and she didn't like, she wasn't panicking, because she came, as she said, she came in a short notice, and we delivered, exactly. Exactly. She wanted. And she made the process very, very easy. Mm -hmm. I came in just one time to try it on. And then she said, okay, we'll do this, is that. Yes. And by the time I picked it up and I put it on the next yes. day for the event, it was absolutely perfect. Yes. So can you tell us what, you said you do lots of high fashion designs. Is that your favorite thing to do? I um, mean, actually, yes, it is. <laughs> it is. And where do you get the inspiration from your designs? Oh, social media plays a big part in, you know, looking for designs because we watch runway shows, we, you know, Instagram, Pinterest, and we basically, as I said before, take one piece from here and one piece from here to put it together to style our clients. So that's Oh, that's, that's nice. I, I, listen, I can't get enough of that dress. I can't get enough of the image that I saw there either. And knowing that she wasn't a customer, Zilla, wow. Interesting. No, I'm not. I'm, very, I'm a very pleasant person if you get to meet me. <laughs> we, we'll pick that what? up another time. <laughs> we'll pick that up another time. But um, I'm also, I think I'm made to understand that you do a bit of styling as well. Like yes. not just making the pieces, but actually telling people what would go best with them, the whole look, the hair, the makeup, the accessories, oh, yeah. the nails. I really love styling. Mm -hmm. And you come in, you say, okay, I, I don't know what I want as yet, but I know I want to be flashy. I say, okay, 
it's a couple of days process. I have to, you know, look what I want and put together things. And when you come back, I'll be able to tell you, okay, this suits your body type with this here or this shoes and this makeup. I give input about everything. So that's yes. We'll now walk us through her creative process of some of her Black History Month pieces. So Chatty, and I see we have lots of colorful fabrics yes. here. Can you walk us through the process? Like, where do you get your fabrics from? Where do we start? Okay, mostly we we source our fabrics locally, mm -hmm. whether at Karen's Fabric or at um, Astafan. Sometimes we have a lady that brings in unique and original African pieces. Oh, wow. So we use those as well, but we mostly source from Karen's or Astafan. Okay, so it's February Black History Month. So do people normally come for African print designs during this time? Yes, because they are business places, they are churches, they are schools that incorporate the wearing of African wear into their jobs and you know because it's black history month so we do a lot of pieces this month that's great man so do you also have um this need or this demand through other times of year in the summertime in the summer yes in okay. the summertime because there are a lot of prints and a lot of colors in african fabrics we tend to use it in the summertime as well mm -hmm, when it's fun all right so yes. i think you're free to take us through each individual piece okay. that you have here Okay, so right now what we have here, this is a little cute, little fun dress. It's like, you know, really, it's appropriate length. This just that. <laughs> <laughs> we have little fun sleeves mm. and the print is nice. So this is, you know, when you're going to a little brunch or a little, you know, beach party, this is what people would come I and do. typically get to wear. You can pass them this way because I don't okay. want Mimi or Cortenzo to run away with them, right? <laughs> so I'll just keep them here safe. But the kids, like I said, we do kids wear for school. So we have, this is a little boy's top. Mm -hmm. So he put it on with a khaki pants, a jean pants, and he's on his way to school. Though, that's for those people who don't generally want to wear a whole African suit. Mm -hmm. That's what A little more conservative. You could just put on a top and then a pair of jeans. Nice little cute jacket. I like that one. Yeah. You put a nice blouse, a nice um, white tee. You put on your skirt, your little pants, and you're off to school. I think Hortensia wants to feel it, you know, because she <laughs> thinks I'm getting all of the fun. So please pass that one that way. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Yes, it's like that. Yes, and I had on my white cami, so I can work with this. Uh -huh. Definitely work with this. This is a little dress we have here. No, it's not too loud. It's just the perfect amount of... African for those who, again, don't want to be too outrageous with the African wear. It's just a yellow frill dress with the bordering and the tie. But you've also got the colors of our flag in there, so that's great. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. really, really yeah. great. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. <laughs> <laughs> See? You know how you got that in. We do bags. I love these, by the way. We do bags and... We are going to show you something else, but we do bags. <laughs> you know, you just put on a simple white dress and yeah. you you your put bag your bag to accessorize. You put all your goodies in your bags and you, you're going about the day. So yeah. is it for you women love big bags? You dump everything in yes, them? Yes, so we this put one everything. Yes, yeah, so whole life, just in case. <laughs> Every yeah. single thing. You have to be able to fit a little piece of home. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That's, That's, a a good That's a good seller. That's a good seller. We also have belts for the ladies that you know just want a hint of African because you know just sometimes you just want to tone it down a bit. You wear your little African, your little white clothes, your basic Jimmy, clothes, you jean head. pants, and then you get a belt and you put the belt. Okay. I will. Yeah, I can see what you mean. So you can wear your African belt with about anything. Yeah. Yeah, because the colors vary. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we definitely can put them in anything. So are all your things um, made by order, or do you carry certain things at the shop that people could just come and pick up? When we do Black History Month, mostly we do to sell. Mm -hmm. We And then customs orders we get sometimes, but mostly we put out to sell. Because it's easier because, you know, Children and the parents come and they're looking for a quick little thing, so they just buy it and go. 
All right, all right, perfect. So can you remind us again how we can contact you, how we can find you, and what is the perfect, again, I'm, I'm always, not always, I'm often very last minute, what is the perfect time to contact you if I wanted something custom made? Uh, mostly it's two weeks. Two, two weeks, weeks in, in advance. advance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remind us how we can contact you, where we can find we you. We are located at the Pelican Mall, that's downstairs. You're gonna, you can't miss the shop, honestly. We <laughs> have our beautiful pieces outside as well as inside. The number to call is 766-6177 or 668-8819. And are you on social media? Yes, we have an Instagram page, which is Empire We're 869 